I'm Klaus, I'm head of community at CrowdSec. Today I'm going to show you how to install CrowdSec on a Windows server. After that, we'll enroll the CrowdSec agent in the, in the console. And lastly, we'll uh, test with if the CrowdSec agent works by performing a brute force attack with Hydra uh, using RDP. Uh, here's the install instruction. First, we'll download the CrowdSec packages. The way um, CrowdSec works is that uh, the agent download parses the logs and the bouncer uh, mitigates the risk, so to speak. So you will need both packages. First, we'll install the CrowdSec agent, and then afterwards, we'll be, we'll be installing the, the next six uh, runtime. And lastly, we'll be installing the bouncer. By default, detection of, re of remote desktop and SMB are enabled. Um, and unlike the Linux version of the CrowdSec agent, there's no auto detection of, of running services. Not yet, at least. After installing, we'll, we'll enroll the CrowdSec agent into the console because everybody likes fancy graphs. First, you log into the console and you click Enroll New Instance. Paste the enrollment command and uh, make sure to leave out the sudo uh, part of it. Then you accept it in console and afterwards uh, it will sync alerts to your agent. After enrollment, uh, make sure to restart the, the CrowdSec service. You do that by bringing up Windows Services, then find CrowdSec in the list and click Restart. After installing, we, we want to test if it works or not. So, so there, therefore, we'll do a brute force attack uh, on remote desktop with, uh, with Hydra. When the attack has been running for a few seconds, check the alerts using CSCLI. To make sure that the firewall bouncer works, we'll tell it to the RDP board. You can see that it doesn't connect and therefore the, the firewall bouncer works and the connection is blocked. Today I've shown you how to install the CrowdSec agent on Windows Server. I hope it was useful to you and thank you for watching.